So for this video, I'm about to show you how to safely overclock your GPU in 2024, guys. I'm going to guide you exactly through every single step so that you can 100% safe overclock any GPU. What we're going to need, of course, in the first place, guys, is the MSI Afterburner. Just simply get it from the link in the video description and always make sure that you choose the final version, guys. Don't go for the beta one. And once you went through the installation process, this is exactly how it should look like. In the first place, what I like to do is go into options real quick, go under fan and make sure that you actually enable a user-defined curve. This is basically the temperature and fan speed curve you can see at around 30 degrees we're getting 40 percent fan speed then at around 50 degrees we have around 50 then around 80 degrees i like to keep it on 80 and then all the way up here on 90 of course to full max speed guys try to replicate something similar to this it's kind of personal preference how loud you want your fans to be but this is what works the best for me guys so therefore i can highly recommend it to you make sure that you apply it and click on ok and now let's actually begin with the overclock in the first place guys you gotta keep in mind not every gpu works the same way so therefore i'm going to show you how to safely do it for any model if you have no clue at all what you want to do in the first place guys is make sure to drag your power limit and temperature limit it all the way to the right side. This is the first thing which we want to do. Now you can see the most important factors are of course your core clock in megahertz and your memory clock in megahertz. Now with what do you begin of these two? I would say in the first place the memory clock guys since it's a lot easier and you cannot mess up really a ton there. Now how I would do it personally guys I would always go up at around 50 megahertz and then apply it here real quick in the MSI afterburner and then run a 3D benchmark. The one which I like to use is 3D benchmark guys and then we have the Speedway one which basically tests DirectX 12 on your GPU this one is a really good indicator to tell if an overclock is stable or not. There are of course also a bunch of unpaid versions, so therefore I'm going to put a link to them in the video description as well. But this one is really good when it comes down to identifying if an overclock is safe. And once we know, okay, this one is stable, we're going to go up to 100 hertz overclock. And just like that, you're going to continuously go up. And after every single time, guys, please actually check if it's running stable. I see so many people who are just putting in their random numbers and they're like, oh yeah, it's working. You know, my PC didn't crash. Also to calm you down, whenever a benchmark is actually realizing it's too demanding on the PC, the benchmark is just gonna crash and stop. That's an indicator that the overclock is way too high. So therefore you cannot really mess up too much there. And also something else which might actually help you out is guys, to real quick maybe Google your current GPU, you know something like RTX 4060, there are hundreds of thousands of people who have this and just simply Google what are their results. You know, get some feedback from other people, what are like some safe overclock values. I even put it into chat GPT and it even told me that for 4060 I can go up with 200 megahertz on the memory clock. So therefore, just to give you like some rough values, you can actually do some research on the internet. But of course, for the fine adjustment to really figure out what's the maximum for your GPU, you should still do it manually. Let's say now as an example that we are on around 200 megahertz and this is now the safe overclock for our GPU. What we're gonna do with the core clock now, guys, is go up only with 15 to 30 megahertz since it's way more precise. So as mentioned, you're gonna go up between like 15 to 30 megahertz. Let's do 20 in the beginning, just to be safe. You're gonna go up, you know, you're gonna apply it, click it under that, run again a 3D benchmark, see if it's stable. And what's also super important, guys, is your temperature. You don't want your GPU to be anywhere close between like 80 to 90 degrees, as an example. I did some research on my RTX 4060 here. The temperature limit is actually 83 degrees, but you don't want to come anywhere close there because it could just be a little bit hotter day outside. You know, it's slowly turning summer. So for me personally, I would say something between like 70 to 75 degrees should be the max for your GPU temperature. So therefore, always also check after you did the benchmark how high was the temperature limit or just check it meanwhile you know keep both of them open at the same time just run the benchmark and that way you can figure out okay is what I'm doing actually stable then again if it's stable you're gonna go up another 20 and as an example, what I've seen from other people getting is between like 50 to 150 megahertz here on the core clock. So therefore you should not really go up crazy above it, you know, like not type in that 200. That's most likely that your PC is just gonna crash. So what you wanna do is always consistently go up with these 20 steps, again, apply it, check in a benchmark if it's stable and underneath 75 degrees, continue again with the next step. And just like that, guys, you're going to figure out exactly what are the best values for your GPU. It's very safe as mentioned, if the benchmark realizes it's too much, it's just simply going to stop. So as an example, these are some values which are very well known for 4060 to actually run stable around 110 megahertz on the core clock. So I could be applying this right now here with this check. And then once you typed in there your values and you went through the whole entire overclock, you're just simply gonna click here onto this apply button, then under the safe thing here, 
and select one profile on the right side. Like I'm just simply gonna go here for the first one and then you also wanna make sure that it says here apply at Windows Startup. So you wanna have this checked guys so the overclock actually applies every single time. You really cannot mess a lot up but also keep in mind there's some disadvantages to overclocking, high temperature in general, your GPU is probably gonna get worn out faster and of course, it's also more expensive. So if you want to run something like a low energy plan, whatever, you know, consider that as well, I guess. But with that said, I hope this video was helpful. And don't forget to check out these two videos right now on screen where I show you how to optimize a Windows PC even further.